To find out if water is as hard as pavement, Carrie, Grant, and Tori have commenced Operation Pork Drop. Okay, so here's the plan. We've already done drops at 25 and 50 feet. In the feet first position, the G load was very far apart, but in the belly flop position, they were much closer. But just to cover all of our bases, we're gonna go up to 600 feet, which will ensure that our pig reaches terminal velocity. So he's gonna get in the helicopter, when he gets to 600 feet, he's gonna kick the pig out of the door, and then we scoop it up and count the broken bones. Okay, so we're at our target altitude of 600 feet. We're hovering directly above the landing zone. Are you guys ready? Okay, we're ready. Okay, here we go. Operation Pork Drop onto pavement in three, two, one. Pig is flying. Well, he's more falling. Despite a terminal velocity of 120 miles per hour and an incredible estimated G-load of 5,000 plus, the bag remained intact and Operation Pork Drop was a success. Now, dropping a pig out of a helicopter seems pretty straightforward. That is, unless you have an uncooperative pig. But once I got him out of the helicopter, the drag chute opened up, he got into the belly flop position, and most importantly, he was traveling at terminal velocity. And the best part is, we hit the pavement. This was a perfect test. Oh, dude, that was crazy. <laughs> oh. Did you hear that splash? Yeah, and we got a belly flop. And now to get the thankfully sealed contents of the bag. That looked like it hurt. Over to the x-ray station. We need to get this pig into the x-ray stack. Where the technicians take the shots they need. But before we assess and compare the injuries, it's go for the H2O. Get in there, pig. Okay, for this water test, we're going to use a pig of the same weight. We're going to go to the same height with the helicopter and drop it to get the same terminal velocity. God, it's never easy loading a pig into a helicopter. We're going to smack down on the water in a belly flop position and find out if water is as hard as pavement. It's Operation Pork Drop Phase 2. A porkalypse now. So... We are set. We have our pig in the helicopter. We're going to take it up to 600 feet, push it out of the helicopter onto water. Now, so far, we have not seen water behave like pavement, but we have never dropped anything from this height. We might see a similarity here, but we won't know for sure until we pull the pig out of the water, do an x-ray, and compare the two pigs. We're all set. You guys ready? Okay, Tori, we are good to go. Pork drop number two. Splashdown. And once again, the stabilizing chute worked, serving up the perfect pork belly flop. So it didn't sink. Now to bring home the bacon and put this myth to bed. We thought the pig was going to sink, so we got a special rescue crew to go out and dive to get him. <laughs> How's the passenger? But he's actually floating on the water. Personally, I don't think they're going to bring in a pig that's quite as damaged as that pavement drop. So it looked like a really hard hit. But there's only one way to tell for sure, and that's a professional medical assessment of the x-rays with orthopedic surgeon Dr. Halbrick. So did he make it? How did our pig do on pavement? Well, the pig on the pavement did really disastrously. 17 fractures. Wow. Here's a femur fracture, fracture dislocation of the spine, and to top it all off, a decapitation. Oh! You got a dislocated head. So when we dropped the pig on the concrete, it made us sound like a giant popping balloon. Now, we didn't open the bag, but we did x-ray it. And what we found inside were many, many broken bones and a pelvis that was so shattered it was unrecognizable, not to mention decapitation. It's an unsurprising litany of lethal injuries, 17 clear and catastrophic fractures. But the key to this myth is the comparison. All right, so how did it compare to the water drop? The water drop pig 
did much better, although it's still seven fractures compared to 17. Six rib fractures and also a neck fracture, but not as bad as the decapitation. It couldn't be clearer. Two pigs of identical weight, falling at the same speed, landing in the same orientation, have significantly varied injury diagnoses. Both the quantity and quality of the bone breaks means there can only be one result. But that's not the only reason Carrie's so happy. Now, having the clear-cut results that the pig landing on the pavement, bam, was actually a lot harder than falling on water was great. But was even better? Those bags didn't bust open, and I didn't throw up. So it turns out pigs don't fly, but they do fall, and they land hard. However, as far as Smith is concerned, if you're hitting the water at any height, it's not going to be as hard as if you're hitting pavement. So this myth is busted. Myth is busted. I think we're going to have to call this a busted. How come we don't have a helicopter to fly home after every myth? <laughs>